Hare Krishna. We're doing a three for one sale today. Oh. We're gonna do three readings. Is it? She doesn't know yet. But we're oh, on I number two. Two down, one to go. Anyway. This right here. Can you see the tree? That tree. That is the most sacredest tree in the three universes. Truly. What is it? It's the Hare Krishna tree. Yeah. We're, we're in Tompkins Square Park. Yes. And right behind us, that tree is the tree that Prabhupada came and started chanting under. Yeah. And there's beautiful pictures. We showed some of the pictures, I think, or maybe it was on her... Uh, Bhakti Vision. Bhakti Vision So blog. go to the Bhakti Vision YouTube channel and then you'll see a little document. <coughs> Sort yeah. of documentary. Documentary, anyway. maybe? Is that what you mean? That's what I said, documentary. Oh, I thought you said document. Um, mm -hmm. So, that's the tree Prabhupada was chanting under. Yeah, All sacred. the people gathered around and watched, and that's where the Hare Krishna movement in the 20th century yeah. just began. You know, Lord Chaitanya planted Prabhupada under that tree. Yeah. It's still there today. It has a little plaque on it that says the Hare Krishna tree. So. And Prabhupada was so bold because nowadays devotees don't always, you know, go shy. I don't want to go out in my devotional clothes. I don't want to do Hari now. Let's, like, be, you know, shy or, or not, you know, book distribution. You don't want to do it. But Prabhupada dressed as he was in his saffron robes and Indian bodied older man went and sat down and just started chanting and if you watched you should google it and watch the clips <clears throat> of the time there they wasn't like i mean a lot obviously there was there was a big crowd everyone was looking but if you look at the footage there are some people in particular some ladies i won't lie giving him real dirty looks really like, what a funny man what a, so i'm saying he still <laughs> continued his eyes closed he kept the same beat going <coughs> and he just kept Seeing it and seeing it, seeing the Mahamaja. You know, he just, yeah, he was clearly somewhere else, you know. But I thought, yeah, that's his boldness, and we can get shy now, even after all these years, 60 odd years, mm. Prabhupada's laid the foundation. But sometimes there is that timidness and shyness. Yeah, so. yeah. Prabhupada wasn't shy, he came in the same as we heard, the same pointy shoes and saffron robes. But we're here to uh, read his books. Yeah. Yeah, we're here to read his books, but I just want to quickly say, now that we're sitting here and you're seeing the tree, please do Google it, because then it puts things in context. You're seeing the tree now. If you Google it and look at some photos or look at some footage from the time, you know, it just, oh yeah, that's the tree. That's my point. It kind of like brings it all connected, you know? Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. All right, so it's Canto 4, Chapter 18, Text 4. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Okay, text, oops, text four. One who follows the principles and instructions enjoined by the great sages of the past can utilize these instructions for practical purposes. Such a person can very easily enjoy life and pleasures. Oh, Paul. <coughs> the Vedic principles, Mahajano Yena Gata Sapata, urge us to follow in the footsteps of great liberated souls. In this way, we can receive benefit in both this life and the next and we can also improve our material life. By following the principles laid down by great sages and saints of the past, we can very easily understand the aim of all life. The word avara, avara, <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading like that, <laughs> meaning inexperienced, is very significant in this verse. Every conditioned soul is inexperienced. Everyone is a Bodha Jata, born a fool and rascal. In democratic government at the present moment, all kinds of fools and rascals are making decisions. But what can they do? What is the result of their legislation? 
to your next outfit today, just to whimsically repeal it tomorrow. <laughs> so true. <coughs> one political party utilizes a country for one purpose, and the next moment another political party forms a different type of government and nullifies all the laws and regulations. This process of chewing the chewed, puna punas chavita chava nanam, would never make human society happy. In order to make all human society happy and prosperous, we should accept the standing that is given by liberated persons. So, interesting, in terms of what we were saying just now about the tree and about Prabhupada leading the way, being leading the first outdoor singing, Sankitan Harinam like this, for us to follow 60 years later. So isn't it interesting because the Pol Pot resonates with that because Prabhupada is saying <coughs> that we can benefit in this life and the next by just simply following mm. what the great sages are saying. The saints of the past, yeah. Yeah, nice which thinking. includes Prabhupada and he was representing all other saints of the past. So there you go, you know, so simple. Just follow what he's saying. Because, yeah, I was even thinking just quickly when Prabhupada was leaving his... I was thinking this the other day, when Prabhupada was leaving his body, what he was doing. And he was um, translating. translating and he could have, you know, when you come to that stage, sometimes if, if you're attached, you can be speaking about all those things, my temples, my this, my that. He just can't surrender. If you watch that video, it's not easy to watch that video actually. It's very, me a bit disturbing. It's called the final lesson, I think. Yeah, it is out. You can watch it first. But yeah, he, he gave himself, he surrendered. His final act was to surrender even his own body to his disciples who were mm. cleaning him up, who were giving him this or that. You know, dignity was gone, as it were, you know, in that sense. And he was just dictating. I was just saying that, thinking of that. He's also because of family members who are older and... Yeah, it's not easy to get old and I can sense a sense of feeling of fear in these family members because their bodies are decaying, very much so. And what does that mean? So I was thinking about Prabhupada and how he dealt with it. And yeah, he was just translating and didn't, from what you can see, because it's all docu-filmed, call out, my wife, my child, I had this, you know, bring me this, mm -hmm. whatever, you know, go and get that doctor, go and do that, how to prolong anything. He actually surrendered, his disciples wanted him to stay and they were getting really obviously upset, but he was ready to go. Well, and he was happy to do whatever, I think. Yeah. To, I mean, he could have gone at any point. Yes, yes, but I'm he saying was, there wasn't fear and grasping I'm saying yeah. the trying to halt what is coming whatever you know yeah all close to Prabhupada you really feel it we're very fortunate you know from this from central London and all the sacred places to do with Prabhupada there and now you know coming to the beginning the start of it all here in Matchless Gibbs where he did the previous reading yeah it's like yeah and time for the uh 60th anniversary. Next year, no? Year after, 2026. 2026. The 66 is the year he started it. So. Wow, isn't that amazing? Yeah. Well, I hope we're here to see. It, yeah, if we're still around. Yeah, I hope we can see it. Okay, so we'll read text 5, 18th chapter. Translation, a foolish person who manufactures his own ways and means through mental speculation does not recognize the authority of the sages who lay down unimpeachable directions is simply unsuccessful again and again in his attempts. Purport. At the present moment it has become fashionable to disobey the unimpeachable directions given by the acharyas and liberated souls of the past. Presently, people are so fallen that they cannot distinguish between a liberated soul and a conditioned soul. A conditioned soul is hampered by four defects. He is sure to commit mistakes. He is sure to become illusion. He has tendency to cheat others. And his senses are imperfect. 
Consequently, we have to take direction from liberated persons. This Krishna consciousness movement directly receives instructions from the Supreme Personality of Godhead by persons who are strictly following his instructions. <coughs> Although a follower may not be a liberated person, if he follows the Supreme Liberated Personality of Godhead, his actions are naturally liberated from the contamination of the material nature. Lord Chaitanya therefore says, by my order you may become a spiritual master. One can immediately become a spiritual master by having a full faith in the transcendental words of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and by following his instructions. Materialistic men are not interested in taking directions from a liberated person, but they are very much interested in their own concocted ideas which make them repeatedly fail in their attempts because the entire world is now following the imperfect directions of conditioned souls humanity is completely bewildered yeah so if we follow the persons who are following Krishna uh, with heart and soul trying to dedicate their lives then uh, Krishna will guide us but if we just try to speculate our way back and make it up and as I was reading this it was reminding me of and in, um, in my early days of coming to Krishna consciousness and I was hanging out with Matt and um, me and him would have these philosophical debates and he was always quoting the Gita and I was just quoting making stuff up saying it's like this it's like that and you know and and he, you know, he never really went, oh, you're just a big speculator. But, you know, later I realized that he was actually quoting some, you know, actual method or system or something that was like there. And I was just making stuff up that seemed to make sense. But, you know, I mean, it wasn't like I was saying it's all a big bowl of spaghetti. You know, it was philosophical in some way, but it's exactly what Prabhupada talks about. It's like we speculate, you know, we just kind of make it up. Mm. And uh, as soon as I'm reading this, then yeah, you, you'll just be baffled because you just make it up and then you change it next week because you want something else, you want to do something else. But no, you have to follow in the footsteps. That means you have to follow the path, the, the mark, and you have to walk that direction. And when the wind blows, it blows you off, you get back on. You just keep following that path, and then there's success. Um, but the other way is just, it's like we were talking about the Wizard of Oz this morning in class, and it's like if you, get, if you go off of the yellow brick road, then you're just going to put yourself in some serious danger. So the yellow brick road is follow, follow Prabhupada. the uh, Prabhupada. Yeah, follow Prabhupada. Following Prabhupada. Um, Call it a day. Uh, that's a long purport. I'll just call it a day. I'm gonna call it a day. Look on the aid. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a night. You call it whatever you like. It's not night. It's day. Night. Day. Night. Day. Night. Day. All right. Thanks, everyone. All right. Remember, look up the tree. Yeah. YouTube. She did a video with some pictures. Yeah. We just. Uh, yeah. Uh, Google the Hare Krishna tree and Tompkins Square Park. New York, New York. Hare Krishna, Hare everyone. Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Gantara, Shima Bhagavatam. Ki Jai. Jai. Shila Prabhupada, Savior of the whole universe. Ki Jai. Jai.